keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we will be talking about what potentially could be my guard build for NBA 2K24, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. As liking up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and will put you a noti game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this video, okay? So, before we go any further, I just want to pop this picture up. Right, and as you can see, this is my man, the monster. You know what I mean? Um, we'll be cooking up a lot in 24, so I'm just gonna let you know, so it's not gonna be sweet. But this is my La Monster's legendary two-way slasher, two-way slashing playmaker build based off 2K20. Now, La Monster, what I respected about him is that when he initially came out with this build, just like what I'm talking about on Twitter and all that type stuff, about how two-way slashing playmakers and slash in general are gonna be OP, and when I say OP, let me phrase that. It's going to be a really solid all-around build in the right hands. Pete Lamonza got absolutely cruised in the beginning when they were like, yo, you only have a 64 three ball, which of course, in this instance, when he hit 99, it was a 68. He was getting absolutely destroyed by that. Okay? But if you look at the defense, you look at the playmaking at the time, you know, the 86 was really good for the elite dribble animations. Okay, so we gotta go back a little bit. So obviously we had to make some changes to be able to match what it'll be in 2k24 but just look at this build and again y'all gonna look at this build and if it wasn't la Monsta and we didn't know what we knew about 2k24 i'm sorry 2k20 everybody would be joking on this build right now be laughing right mike wang already came out and said a 75 three ball should be good enough okay now it might not be for all y'all just like this build right here wasn't for everybody but the comp players the competitive players they cooked up with this and again you know what I'm talking about, okay? So, with that being said, just understand what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Y'all think it's sweet. Mike Wayne came out again, you know, a couple of days ago and was talking about when a guy asked him, was like, yo, like, what do you think is going to be the most skilled thing for, um, what is the most skilled thing you like in 2K24? He said meter dunks. You master meter dunks, you're going to be pretty, you're going to be pretty comp. Hello, two-way slash and playmaker meter dunks all right as a two-way slash and playmaker learn how to master the pro stick to get contact dunks okay everybody knows about defense and how it is on the perimeter on defense hello two-way slash and playmaker plays really really good defense okay there's 150 new pro on um, play animations and dribbling hello that's what a two-way slash and playmaker does it dribbles and plays defense okay I already spoke about Mike Wayne said shooting only a 75. What does that tailor to? Hello, two-way slashing playmaker. You don't need a high three ball to be really dominant with that. And we just talked about slashing. Two-way slashing playmaker. Slashing's in the name. It finishes. If y'all have not put this all together yet, what I've been saying for the past three, four months, I do not know what else to say. Okay? Mike Wayne is slowly bringing out all the information I've been saying since day one. All right? Again, you know... Unk don't know what he's talking about, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So anyway, what we're going to do is this. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So we want to go point guard. Um, it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. Um, let's go with... Uh, how are we going to do this? 6'3", 195 with a 7-foot wingspan. Okay, so we always want to max that wingspan out. Body shape um, doesn't matter. 6'3 to 6'5 is really going to be the sweet spot for this build. Okay, but the problem is there's just a lot of different clunky stuff that could be associated with the height change, and I'm not really sure 100% how that's going to work. Again, when I call to the builder, I try to use my knowledge from the past three years and what direction this builder could go. Okay, but my gut, okay, just keep in mind, listen to what I'm saying closely. My gut is saying 6'5, but the way I want to make it, I'm going to go 6'3 here, but six five might be the sweet spot okay then with that being said this is what i'm going to do i'm going 85 on a close shot 80 on the driving layup and then i'm gonna go 83 okay 83 
what i am not really certain on is what the actual contact dunk animation would be it might be extremely high and if it's going to be extremely high which my gut is telling me you're probably better off as a two-way slashing playmaker not having that highest level gold contact dunk or whatever like that you're probably better off not probably you will be better off sticking with maybe like a silver or a bronze yes i'm saying that remember like i said in my other videos the only thing you should be hall of fame chasing and gold chasing would be playmaking and defense finishing should be silver um or bronze and shooting should be silver or bronze remember if you got that 2k20 mindset that's what you should be you should be trying to hunt with in some some way shape or form okay so just keep that in mind then when you get takeover use your 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 shooting or your finishing take depending on how the game's going to be able to dominate okay so just keep that in mind there but this is what i'm gonna go with with these three then again here i'm gonna go with what mike wayne said just go 75 and then 80 on the free throw 75 three point shot if you boost it with your your sharp shooting your shooting takeover that becomes an 85 so automatically mike wayne said that you get a plus 10 that's an 85 three ball so again like i said figure out how you can master a little three ball because you can pop your take and it's not going to be hard to get takeover so it's like pop your take and cook up when you know what i'm saying get a couple shots off get a couple driving dunks get a couple assists boom you got takeover now you can go ahead and cook up the next three four possessions with the threes and do what you got to do you're only going to 21 guys okay so the whole idea that you got to have this high three ball no hunt for your takeover you know what i'm saying get your takeover and then hit them threes in the next two three four possessions but uh, and then play extremely good defense like it's just a it's a mindset that you know hopefully a lot of y'all picking up over time i know a lot of y'all be like oh uncle demi's a casual and i'm like yeah okay all right sure you really don't see me playing the part because i've always had close to over an 88 like to this year i got an 88 win percentage and i play with replica builds just want to put that out there i do have a, a straight comp lockdown you know for the stage i do have a straight comp center but other than that it's replica bills and that's playing the part you know what i mean um i played in the part for the most time that type of deal 88 win percentage this year though right before we're 2000 games play just want to put that out there when people like people in the comment section say unk you're casual yeah okay um so then what we're gonna do is this pass accuracy you want to go high on your pass accuracy like mike wayne also came out and said like listen pass accuracy um itself is going to be very 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 dependent on how you pass there's a variable in that but you, the higher your pass accuracy the better and in this instance i just want you to listen closely you want to have your pass accuracy very high um just to get basic stuff like bell out just want to put that out there and then your ball handle we're going 89 but again this is a sacrifice here you might be able to go to 92 if you want to get steph curry and that type of deal which in theory in theory you probably can i just don't know how high my speed with ball would have to be to be able to get maybe like westbrook right not westbrook i'm talking about um yeah westbrook not steve francis steve francis is 95 what's westbrook though you know what i mean like well what were the other you know um dribble styles that we can get that could be really good that you don't have to go that high and that's why you really got to go into um and you know either 2ku or you know really go into um after you make your build just go ahead and do the 3v3 or the 5v5 and play against ai's but just look at the sigs right figure out what sigs you want to get defensively 87 is what we're going with because again i don't think you can go that high to be able to get that but where we want to attack here is gold badges um or silver and be perfectly fine with that the reason why i'm cool with going with these levels here is because mike came out and said that you know badges this year operate differently so it's really about the attributes so an 87 perimeter defense and 85 still by itself is good even if i get bronze or silver i'm still happy because i have a high level but if you're able to get gold somewhere i would always recommend when you're trying to get a gold badge always get steel the highest you can because steels can be cheesy this year um and i don't know if any information came out about what type of steals but there's some really unique ways you can get steals and i think that's gonna be dope all right and then um offensive rebound and defensive rebound i went 50 and 61 because i always want to try to get rebounding with any type of athletic build i have over my guards that i'm going against and then again we said 90 acceleration 90 speed you got to be able to have 90 speed again i'm gonna go say this speed is gonna be attached to dribble sigs and that type of stuff maybe i'm i'm 
pretty much leaning towards that yeah that should be the case same thing for acceleration so not just speed with ball but your speed and acceleration is also going to have a say in that and also with your defense that's what i'm my my, my stomach is telling me and the same thing for strength i get my strength up to a 60 because i don't need to go too high my driving dunks at 83 i'm cool with that we'll see how that goes same thing for my vert my vert is going to be pretty higher this year as an 80 and i went 90 on the stamina but i'm figuring i might have to go higher on the stamina again but this is what we're looking at this will be something similar to a two-way slashing playmaker this year all depending on how the game how you want to play but i'm telling you right now and I already know when Lamonson makes this and he's out there destroying people, you be like, yo, like, I do like, Unc was right. I don't want to hear it, man. Like, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I think it's going to be pretty funny when a lot of people are out there having a 75 three ball, they hunt to get takeovers, then they pop their shooting takeover and shoot threes for the next you know, half of the game. And a lot of people realize that, yo, this is actually broken. This is a demigod build, right? Because the shooting takeover gives you a plus 10. That's an 85 three ball. You trying to tell me you can't shoot an 85 three ball? You don't need to be fading all that type of stuff if you're cooking up like that. Just pop it like we did in 2K20, man. Don't hit him with a, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Like, that's just my mindset. Um, again, here it's funny because you do hit sharp takes here, which I think is funny, but this is what I would go with with that. All right. And then, of course, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. It still comes out as a two way slashing playmaker. Um, and again, like I said, I actually hunted to make sure it say two-way slashing playmaker, but you can do it any way you want. Whatever it comes out with, it comes out with. But this is a two-way slashing playmaker. So anyway, there you have my nephews and nieces. If you love the video like this, make sure you check out these other videos that we have popping up really soon. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. And you know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.